Here we have the Macaulay Bluetooth keyboard with built-in dock. And I have one question. Is this the best multi-device Bluetooth keyboard for both the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold and tablets? Let's find out. So let's start with the unboxing. Now this one's going to be very simple here. So I already removed all items from the packaging and we're going to just lay them all out here. So first we're going to have our quick start guide and product information. Then we're going to have the Bluetooth keyboard. And then we're going to have our charging cable. Now, quick note on that charging cable, it's going to be USB-A on one end and micro USB on the other. For 2025, seeing micro USB is definitely unexpected, but I can work with it. Now, the cable itself is fairly long, so you can use the keyboard while plugged in as long as you are close to an outlet. So let's focus more on the keyboard. The overall build is going to be plastic. No surprise here, as most keyboards are. A majority of the keys are going to be circular and others will have rounded outside portions. A cutout above the keys is going to serve as a dock for your devices, think smartphones or tablets. Then we're going to have an on off switch in the top right hand corner with LED indicators above it. And then we're going to have McAlley Brandon in the top left hand corner. Picking up the unit, we do have noticeable weight here and flipping it over reveals a basic underside with anti-slip circular pads. Interesting note, there are usage directions printed on the back, which is genuinely helpful. So let's start by docking our Galaxy Z Fold 7. If you're looking for the perfect keyboard for this device, this unit might be the one for you. Now, multiple devices can fit into the keyboard slot, even with the case on, as long as the case is on the thinner side. The unfolded Z Fold drops into place with little effort and no display interference, making for a quick and seamless docking experience. Now, the no display interference aspect is an important detail because you don't want to have to worry about damaging the main display on your Z Fold. And if you prefer and you're looking to improve the viewing angle with a Z Fold, you can flex the display on the Z Fold itself. Now, compared to the overall size of the keyboard, the Z Fold is on the smaller side in this setup, but it still looks great. Again, turning on the keyboard is done via a slider in the top right hand corner. Above the slider, you'll also notice the three Bluetooth profiles, one, two, and three, respectively. Now, this is handy for connecting up to three devices and switching between them quickly. Now, to select a profile, we're going to press and hold on the function key, and then look for the number row, one, two, and three. To select the respective Bluetooth profile, you'll tap either number one, two, or three. And you'll see that, that LED indicator in the top right hand corner will highlight the color that relates to the number key that you pressed. Now once you've selected a profile, initiate pairing by pressing and holding that function key again and then pressing the P key. And you'll see that the LED indicator will rapidly flash that corresponds to the selected profile that you picked that is now in parent mode. Simply open your device's Bluetooth settings, locate the keyboard, and select it. Parent is quick and easy. Overall, I'm happy with the key design here. Again, we have rounded keys, and key travel is solid with satisfying click feedback, although there is a slight squeak to some of the keys. In fact, I typed the majority of this video's content ideas on my Z Fold using this keyboard and it performed impressively. Now, you can use the Macaulay keyboard with other devices and this is where the multiple Bluetooth profiles really come in handy. So, if you have other devices like the Galaxy Tab S9 11 inch for instance, this keyboard works well with them too. It also drops into place for quick docking. In fact, I actually prefer this keyboard for my Tab S9. It docks faster than the Dexnor unit we reviewed and supports multiple devices seamlessly. While this keyboard does perform well overall, there are a few minor drawbacks. First, once your device is docked, there's no angle adjustment unless you're using the Folds Flex mode. If you're using a traditional device like a tablet, you're limited to a single viewing angle. 
Second, there's no trackpad. That may or may not be a deal breaker dependent on your workflow. And third, charging. The keyboard is rechargeable via a port on the right side, but in 2025, it's still using micro USB, which feels borderline criminal. That being said, the charge port style shouldn't be a huge issue since the keyboard itself should hold a charge for quite a while. Also, when it comes to not having a trackpad, personally, I was fine tapping on the display of my fold or tablet to make selections before returning to type in. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.